In this video, I'm not going to review a project. Instead, what I have for you guys is a whole ecosystem that goes by the name of Sastana ecosystem, or the whole name is Sastana and Akam, but the pronunciation is really up to people. Uh, what I like about this whole ecosystem uh, is that how simple it is and how expanded it is, which presents us with a huge potential. Uh, in this one, what we have is a unique wallet, uh, their own native token that is called the blue token, and then there's a whole ecosystem. Uh, so by just having the you know having the wallet, having the token, it opens you up to this whole ecosystem. Uh, so it it's really simple, and uh, when we will go through the whole thing, you'll actually see how much potential it has, uh, and uh, then we're gonna move on from there. So uh, this is the ecosystem that I have you guys in this video. Uh, in this, we have you know many projects that they have developed, uh, and we're gonna take a look at all these projects. Um, the origin of this uh, ecosystem actually came when the you know the concept of NFTs were booming. So back then, people didn't know what NFTs are, and then there was a point when people started to realize what NFTs are and the, its true, true potential. And there were NFTs that are being sold for millions of dollars. So uh, this project this ecosystem, the initiative, the idea, it came from that time uh, when it was really booming. So we can have an idea uh, on what inspiration this ecosystem is built on, which is actually going to help us understand the whole project. So we have a lot of projects in this ecosystem, which we know that if it's an ecosystem, there's a lot of projects within it. So the projects that we have within this, you know, Sustana ecosystem, we have an NFT rental place, we have NFT marketplace, a virtual museum, uh, we're going to have a, a staking platform and launchpad. Uh, and then, um, so this is something that we're going to have. And we have the blockchain based P2E games. So uh, there's like five products and five projects that we have. So this is a whole developed a whole big ecosystem but what's in the center is one unique wallet and one native token now uh, we're gonna get into it we're gonna get details on all their projects uh, and uh, tokenomics and so forth uh, make sure that you watch till the end do know that thing is it's not going to be an investment or a financial advice so all of this do your own investigation research and with this out of the way we're gonna get straight into the ecosystem now this is the official page uh, of the ecosystem and then we have separate pages uh, for all their projects so we're going to re review them briefly one by one to understand what they are and what they're made for, you know made for it says the sasana project is built around a unique wallet and its own native token that is the blue token now this token is basically setting in the center in the core of this entire ecosystem and it gets utilized in almost all their products all their projects um if, even if you're in the virtual museum in the rental place uh, in the games you want to buy something that is going to be through the you know the blue token so you can see it has many utilities now we're going to move forward uh, this is on the polygon blockchain just for you guys to know and uh they're developing all these things using blender using unity and node and um I'm going to go down there and we're going to take a look at all their projects. Here's a brief introduction on all these things, what we have in this one and what we can do in this one. So uh, as I said before, we have an NFT rental place, which is, you know, the word itself is pretty self-explanatory, uh, but we're going to um, study this whole thing, you know, a little bit further to understand what we can do in this one and where you can utilize this. Uh, it may be possible that you're not interested in, you know, buying NFT art pieces, but you may be interested in playing games. So we're going to review them one by one briefly. Uh, so make sure that you stick around till the end. Um, so first of all, we're going to learn about their NFT rental place. Now, this is going to be really amazing. Uh, it can be really beneficial for a lot of people. It can be for you know artists who create art, who create NFTs, and it can be really beneficial for people who wants to showcase an NFT, but they want they don't you know they don't want to buy the entire NFT because it's really expensive. They can rent it for an occasion for a certain period of, period of time, and. Uh, there will be a lot of renowned uh, corporations, renowned companies that will be renting NFTs from here. And it'll be, you know, a matter of honor for the creator that their NFTs is being rented. Apart from, you know, getting an income from there, it'll be something to be proud of that their NFT is being showcased into this, you know, renowned corporation. So this is what the NFT rental place has to offer to different people and different prestigious uh, organizations and utilities around the globe. 
Moving forth, we have the NFT marketplace. So in the rental place, the word was self-explanatory that you rent NFTs there, people can offer their NFTs for rent and they can make an income from there. And in the NFT marketplace, we know what we can do here. Uh, the artists, they can create NFTs, they can mint NFTs, they can promote their NFT, they can create a whole audience around their NFTs, around their art, and they can uh, sell the NFTs. And for general public, they can buy NFTs from here so this is what the nft marketplace is for then we have the blockchain based games we know they have the play to earn concept uh, in blockchain games so you basically play the game and you earn and they also have nft integration so the avatars and lands uh, it depends on the game itself but there's nfts integrated into there which eventually is you know uh, you know linked to their nft marketplace so there it can be you know the accessories the skins the variables there's basically they can be bought and the blue token this is very you know one of the places where it gets utilized because it'll be getting used in this one and it gets used in the nft rental place as well to rent the nfts in all these places people will have the choice if they want to use the blue token or if they want to use any other currency but to promote blue token uh, and to you know incentivize people to make more transaction with blue token to increase its value to hold on to it and they will actually be giving discount uh, on all these services if they use a blue token so again clarifying they will have the option to use other currencies but if they use blue token they get a, they get it on discount so the same thing applies if you use the blue token in the uh, games in the nft marketplace in the nft rental place so i think that part is pretty clear then we come to the virtual museum so this is going to be metaverse related because if, of course if you want to have a virtual museum you need uh you know a metaverse a virtual place where you can hold the virtual museum and virtual museum is basically you entering a building uh a, basically kind of like a gallery where you have all the art placed uh, so it's kind of like an exhibition of art but in a virtual environment so the virtual museum will basically be promoting and showcasing art of artists which is going to be a really great way for them to promote their artwork and so forth uh, this can be they can either develop their own virtual museum you know entirely from scratch or it, it is possible it is a possibility it'll actually depend on the community itself that they might get land uh, from any other you know renowned blockchain game like d land or sandbox and uh, they hold their virtual museum over there so it's a possibility it depends on the community and the team itself and these other things that we currently have there's another thing that we're gonna have that is the as I said before staking platform and launchpad so since it is in the early phases you may not have a lot of information about it uh right here but uh just to give you guys an idea of what what's, what is going to be so basically instead of developing a whole new exchange they will be developing uh, a new type of staking as a service and within that there is going to be a launchpad that is going to cater to the needs of new projects new DeFi projects so it is basically going to help the new startups to gain exposure if they want to raise funds raise money for the project they can do that over there so this is what you know this is going to be but since it is currently in the early phases so there may not be uh, you know a lot of information about it you can actually read through the pdf which is right here and uh, you can read through the staking plan from launchpad which is the number 11 in the table of content so you can read through that over here now what we read right here you have all the information on you know in separate pages there's a whole there's like separate websites for almost all their projects this is for the blockchain game uh sas play a whole ecosystem and uh, i'm just giving you guys a brief idea about this i'm gonna give you guys all the you know the links in the description so you can check it out you know separately if you're interested in something but this is what we have in this one different types of games and their separate roadmap and white paper so this is the virtual museum uh, you have information about that as well and the roadmap and then we have the nft marketplace which is right here and uh, in the end we have the nft rental place so you have information on all their projects separately on different pages uh, i'm going to give you guys links in the description you can um, you can check out their roadmap separately from here so i don't think you're going to have any issue understanding all this all these projects but you can see how well developed uh, this whole ecosystem is they're not bluffing things out all these are legitimate products legitimate projects which you can see they can all act as a standalone project but the amazing thing is that they're part of a whole big ecosystem and within the you know that whole big ecosystem what there is is one unique wallet and one unique uh, native token the blue token which 
can be and which will be getting utilized in all these projects and which can also be staked for people if they want to do that to make a passive income they can do that as well so you can see it'll be getting utilized in so many places you can just imagine it'll be utilizing getting utilized in nfts in buying and selling uh in renting nfts in games to buy accessories to buy skins and wearables and furthermore there's like it's open to all kinds of possibilities where it can be utilized and they can use other currencies but if they use blue tokens it will get a discount and obviously everyone wants discount so if there's a you know a major possibility that they'll this entire thing will be get, getting done using the blue token which creates solid utilities and use cases for the blue token which will you know increase its price to many folds and uh, right now we're currently on time i said this whole all these things are developing are launching the uh the staking platform and the launchpad that is currently in the early phases so i think this is an amazing option and an opportunity that we have right now to get into this whole ecosystem early their wallet application it is going to be available on android and ios so you can directly download it on your um, mobile phones now we're going to talk about the blue token and their wallet and we're going to discuss why it is different than the other ecosystems that we have i like to say that this is a bridge between traditional business and web 3.0 because it utilizes all those traditional ways to make a business sustainable and profitable but it utilizes modern technology and it uses web 3.0 in that sense so that is why i think this is a bridge between traditional business and web 3.0 and uh, the blue token and their Sustana wallet all together this is what makes this different this ecosystem different than the others now um, their goal and their vision uh, itself is a testimony on why this is different why this is better than other ecosystems so their goal for which they kind of like created this whole ecosystem the blue token and the um, you know their own uh, non-custodial uh, wallet was because they wanted to grow each individual business unit and they didn't just go out to make them profitable but they wanted to make them sustainable first which is unlike any other ecosystem which is unlike any other business because those businesses they go for making them profitable and afterwards is just false in this case they're not going for you know being profitable at the very moment they have planned to make it profitable in 12 months right now they're focusing on the sustainability parts uh, of the you know businesses that they have and in turn this strategy will eventually make the whole ecosystem strong will make the individual project stronger and it will make the blue token as a standalone cryptocurrency and only after this is done they're gonna go you know seek external investment to further build the business and make it more valuable and useful for customers and it includes all sorts of people it includes artists it includes promoters it includes game you know uh, gamers players uh, professional players uh, as business clients and partners so it it's really expanded so if you talk about the blue token um you already have discussed a little bit about this uh, this is the native token of this whole ecosystem uh, and it, it gets utilized in all the projects that we have uh, discussed um anyone can buy the blue tokens uh, with cryptocurrencies or fiat currency uh, using the sasana wallet which is their own decentralized non-custodial wallet and it has support for not only cryptocurrencies but also nfts uh, and you have the private key which you only have the access to and so you can control your wallet but you also have public you know key that you can use to receive and you can you know, you know use it to send something so as i was saying uh, anyone can buy the blue token using cryptocurrencies or fiat currencies using the sistana wallet which is their non-custodial wallet and you can also transfer and you can also exchange the blue token using uh, this very wallet so there's a lot of things that you can do in this one and you can also exchange you know uh, transfer nfts as well and um, users can buy they can sell they can rent any artwork uh, for sale uh, or they can rent within the nft marketplace uh, or the nft rental place we have discussed that before so this is the explanation uh, on the on the native blue token on their non-custodial wallet uh, and this is also an explanation on why i think this is a bridge between traditional business and web 3.0 and what makes this ecosystem different than the others so basically this is the ecosystem that i have for you guys i think this is an amazing opportunity that I, that we have in our hands uh, such a developed ecosystem and such a simple ecosystem that we have one token one wallet and a whole ecosystem with a lot of projects that are almost developed 
So, and there's newer things that are coming uh, soon in the future. Now, here are the official pages of the Sestart Museum or the Sestart NFT VR Museum, which you can see is coming soon. So all these are updated now. Uh, I'm going to add these links in the description as well. You can get all the information about the particular project or the particular product of the Sestana ecosystem that we have right now and what they have planned for the future and so forth. So all these are being updated, being added, being developed. Uh, so make sure that you check all these details from the the website the white paper that i'm going to provide in the description and we also have one more thing that i'm going to show you guys um which is also recently updated so this is an update within the video um it is about the sistana wallet now this is again this is also updated and we have covered information about it i'm giving you guys you know the updated information on you know the pages that are updated and the documents so we have information about the sistana wallet right here all these are uh, again updated so you can read through the whole you know uh, website uh, all the key features, uh, the benefits, what they have planned for the future, for the for Sistana of Wallet and so forth. It's not only just like Sistana ecosystem, but for every particular product, it is as if it's a whole new project. So uh, make sure that you get all the updated information from their website, from their social media, from their documents. Uh, and I'm going to give you guys all the links in the description, including these which are updated. So make sure that you check this from the description. So um, I think this is a really amazing project to get into, amazing ecosystem to become a part of. Uh, I'm going to give you guys links to all their projects and all their social media where you can you know, basically become part of the community. So make sure that you get those links from the description. But yeah, uh, this is all of you guys in this video and I'm going to see you guys in the next one shortly. So stay tuned. Disclaimer, trading digital assets involve significant risk and can result in the loss of your invested capital. You should ensure that you fully understand the risk involved and take into consideration your level of experience, investment objectives and seek independent financial advice if necessary. It is up to you whether to invest or not.